Gurpal and Jean were introduced to each other just over four months ago by Amanda, who runs the mentoring program at the local youth center. Jean was very happy to connect with Gurpal because he was born a boy, but doesn't feel like or act like other boys. Jean has a lot of questions about gender identity. Gurpal has built a strong connection with his mentee and wants to help Jean figure things out. After their last activity, Gurpal decides to reach out to Amanda for guidance and help. With only one phone call, Amanda is able to offer Gurpal the support he needs. But how was she able to provide support for him so quickly? Part of Amanda's training when she started at the Youth Center was an introduction to tools and resources available for mentoring service providers, both online and through her network of mentoring professionals. What Gurpal and Jean do not know is that across Canada and around the world, there are hundreds of people working together to improve, redesign, and scale successful mentoring programs and service models. They will support youth at any stage of their life. How are they doing this? They build professional peer relationships, provide feedback, and reflect on what they see in practice. They learn to use tools and resources that can better support young people. They also connect with each other, seize opportunities to learn and grow, and work as a unit. This leads to a collective impact on policies, a shift in the system and the community, brings flexibility to the norms and, ultimately, increases the number of young people who have access to quality mentoring. This work must be continuous, and by committing to ongoing improvement, these mentoring professionals do their part in making sure that all young Canadians are able to reach their own potential in this fast-changing world. At the end of the day, what truly matters is that Jean and other young people have access to the support they need to understand who they are and who they really want to be.